Hey everyone, I'm back again to talk about another backpack from Saddleback Leather. This is the Medium Simple Backpack. The color of this bag is tobacco, tobacco leather, but it's actually their latest version. Um, and it's quite darker than other tobaccos in previous um, designs. And uh, I like to start my videos where I'm wearing the bag and then we can talk about more details once I sit down. I'm 5'5", five five, um, and I just wanted to reference this for scale. My husband is 6'3", and he also wears this, and it looks really proportional on him as well. Um, and these straps are very comfortable. I will be getting into that, but um, right now I'm actually wearing it two different ways. If you can tell, this is without the cushion. Here's the cushion. This is a uh, full grain leather with neoprene on the inside, and this one is with the pad. And I just want to show you at least how that looks, and we'll talk about the pros and cons of both of those. And um, you might be noticing, as I find my seat here, what is this blue tape that I have on my bag? Um, this is actually... Okay, let's see. I'm gonna make sure I'm in frame. I could do this whole thing and it might not even, I might not even be in frame right now, you never know. But this is the dimensions of the medium front pocket backpack. And if you've looked at any of my videos on um, YouTube, you'll see that I have several reviewing Saddleback Leather products. Just because I love that company and because it's fun, I'm not affiliated with them, they don't pay me anything. Um, Anyway, I just have a lot of opinions, so I thought I'd tell tell you all my opinions. But this is to help you reference the differences between the simple and the front pocket backpack. And obviously there's some major differences, the pockets. And this is, um, let me see, I have a sheet here. This is 7 inches by 5 inches. So from this side of the tape to the top of the tape. That's this pocket on the simple the medium simple is significantly smaller um, and obviously there's pros and cons to that and uh, I just wanted to make sure you could really see the difference in scale there um, and uh, again this may seem redundant but I am part of a Facebook group where we talk about Saddleback all the time it's it's insane but uh, I was thinking of putting this video together and I asked you all um, what questions do you have I asked Instagram as well and I got I got a handful of questions I don't have any questions about the bag because I get to play with it every day and have fun but I'm here to do this because um, there aren't tons of reviews online about this bag um, I can think of one amazing review I'll link it below uh, a fellow youtuber she did a great job reviewing it but um, I thought I'd give my perspective as well and Saddleback doesn't have a store yet so you can't just walk in and touch and feel and try it out in the store. So that's another reason why I do these videos. Okay, let's talk about the pockets. Um, somebody asked, can you fit a standard size plastic water bottle in the pocket? And you can. So this is a very standard size that you'd get from a gas station or a Walmart. It's 16.9 uh, fluid ounces. And the way I have it in here, I mean, very comfortable, but I actually tucked the pocket back into the pocket behind it so that it would stay open. I don't want the strap to crease. I'll just bring that out for now. Anyway, so if you tuck it, here, let me show you. This is kind of funny. That's why I tuck it back in. So yes, you can fit a uh, water bottle. Does it fit small notebooks? Yes, it does. Let me show you. Make sure you have enough light here. Okay, I have two small moleskins. Now these are the, oh, how do you describe moleskin sizes? Not the standard regular. These are the smaller ones, and I have two of these. So they fit really comfortably inside there. I wanted to also show you, um, excuse me. Okay, this is a uh, Bible. And um, I'm not even a fan of pink. But somebody gave this, gave this to me a long time ago, so 
I've kept it all these years and I wanted to show you um, what this size Bible would look like in this pocket. And it does work and it actually does buckle still. It buckles right there. So that's helpful. And then um, somebody wanted to know if um, a cell phone fits. And so my cell phone is being used to videotape me. And so this is a case for my cell phone and really comfortable in and out. This is an HTC One Android phone. Um, I don't own an iPhone 6 and I would guess that it would probably maybe be a little visible, but it could fit. Um, the width of this bag, of this pocket, excuse me, is um, four and a half wide by six tall by one and a half deep. Uh, and I don't think these dimensions are posted on their website. And so that's why it was important for me to tell you that. Um, okay, I made a list of things to go through. Let's see. All right, great. So the front pocket backpack in medium, which I had and I don't own right now. Um, we'll get into that. But uh, I, I wanted to talk about the differences with the pockets. So the front pocket backpack has a huge pocket right here. And the dimensions of that pocket are... Two and a half in depth, nine and a half width by six high. So that was fitting, oh my goodness, my iPad mini. Um, well, at least behind it, there was a pocket and then there's like, how do you describe it? An opening between the pocket and the bag. And I would put my iPad mini in there. You could get a regular size moleskin in there. Um, just tons of things. That pocket was insanely convenient for traveling uh, as you didn't have to open up the whole bag to get inside. Um, let's see. Now, again, remember how I was tucking, I was tucking the, um, I lost my train of thought, but okay, I was tucking this flap into it, the medium front pocket backpack, I could fit a full size water bottle as in one that was a Camelback or an Nalgene, um, those are fitting just fine in here, and uh, they aren't fitting in just as fine in here, this is much more narrow. And, uh, yeah, I, I would say I miss those pockets, but, um, if you looked at it, uh, how do I describe this? Okay. The front pocket backpacks, pockets, added a significant amount of width to the bag. The dimensions between this and the front pocket backpack and the body size are very similar, but when you add the dimensions of the depths of all the pockets, you obviously become a bigger footprint when you're walking through the crowded streets of Germany and you pivot in a small shop and I knocked over several things. It was quite interesting. Um, so let's go through the dimensions of this backpack. This is an 11 by 11 width by 14 and 3 fourths high by 7 deep. And the front pocket backpack is 11 width, 13 and a half high by 8 and a fourth deep. And so if you thought the pocket sizes here were three inches and three inches on the front pocket backpack. Uh, and then in the, the pocket in the front was two and a half. I mean, that's three, three, 2.5. That's, you know, eight and a half just right there of extra. Um, when you're turning around, I had, my husband and I were in Paris this spring, which was really awesome. And I had my husband wearing this in a very small, um, fine art store and they were cramming so much inventory in the smallest space and he just stood in the corner terrified he was gonna knock over some really expensive um, you know paints or paint brushes and uh, it's because you couldn't you can't really uh, navigate those small European streets and shops um, okay let's keep going now let's talk about the flap about this bag the flap is very similar to the front pocket backpack so let's I don't have to keep saying that long front pocket backpack constantly, but the flap, I, um, I really like it. It will keep things dry if it's raining and I haven't caught in the rain with this and there was no worries. I just walked as slow as I wanted. I didn't rush to my car. I didn't have a care in the world. Um, one cool thing is that right now these, this is cinched. I made it tight, but you actually could not have this as tight as you know, it doesn't have to be that tight and you can still put the flap on and things aren't going to fall out because the flap is there. 
So obviously there's two ways to get in the bag. You open this and then you open the cinch. But really you only have to close the flap. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, I wanted to show you this on camera. I hope it'll come up. Okay. Okay. Can you see this? Maybe I'll unhook it first. This is the tobacco leather. And if you pinch it, you can see all this color coming up. And then you're like, oh no, you ruined your bag. But then like the oils, they come to the surface and then they go back down. And it has like a nice marbling look. You can really scratch it up nice. Oh, this color is so beautiful. Um, why not talk about that color right now? This is the long trifold wallet from Saddleback. Saddleback leather. Uh, this is it closed. Let me know if you want a review on this. Um, but I wanted to show you guys. This is going to be helpful, I think. I hope. This is the version of tobacco that they had all of last year and the year before. And it's really nice, too. It's a little bit softer. It scratches up really nice. Great patina. But if you can tell, can you tell that this is more in, like, the yellow, hmm, yellow green family of leathers and this is more of the red orange is that coming through and i don't know exactly why they chose to switch um, their leathers their tobacco tanning process but i'm totally on board i think the darker this leather the more red and orange i i'm i'm a fan of that um that doesn't mean i'm going to sell my wallet it's just i'm, I'm happy both ways Okay, so let's go into the strap closure. If you are looking at this, I don't always understand exactly what the train of thought was, but um, you have a D-ring here and a D-ring here, one in the middle, and then this strap kind of has two D-rings that tighten and loosen. Maybe I am not using it as well as I could. I know there's these slits. I think people use these as utility straps um maybe somebody needs to do a youtube review on how to use these straps better and tag me in it because i don't know i do think somebody suggested this online doing a um, drawstring similar to the bucket backpack maybe that would be a little easier just to slide up the leather little toggle and you're good but um i don't really have that many comments about this it's not super annoying i don't fully think i'm using it to the benefit that it should be used um okay now, D-rings. There are no D-rings on the bottom here. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful, that dark tobacco? No D-rings. And I actually, I did not realize there were no D-rings when I bought this bag. Excuse me, traded this, traded for this bag. And the D-rings on my front pocket backpack were, <clears throat> I need a water break. Or iced coffee break. The D-rings in my front pocket backpack were, they were used quite a bit. I'm a plein air artist, which means I paint outdoors, and um, I would strap my tripod onto it, which I turned into an easel, and uh, I don't know, I, I guess when I was thinking about trading for this bag, I just didn't check that fact. I um, actually find myself using this backpack a little bit more than just plein air, um, and so I don't really miss the D-rings, though I wouldn't mind if there was like one or two. Well, two would be more convenient. Two right here. Just for those days I need to strap a, a tripod or an umbrella. And right now the umbrella is in here, but we'll get into that in a second. Um, the backpack straps. Okay. So we talked about this a little when I was standing. Uh, Saddleback has changed something and the blog or the Facebook group I'm a part of um, that I will link below if there's like a public link I can put to it I will link it below. Saddleback has changed their straps. They no longer provide the cushion straps on the medium simple. Um, these actually have been worn in um, when my friends are going on a trip or my husband's going on a trip and I'm not tagging along for some reason, I actually let people borrow my bag. I want it to get broken in, whether it's by me or somebody else. And so these got really soft on a couple trips and they're very comfortable. They're lined with neoprene. And now Saddleback Leathers straps will come, let's see. I know this closure is going away. 
I know this is going to be permanently fixed. And right now this is a screw stud that you can adjust to a couple different heights um, rather quickly. And I really like that feature because my husband's 6'3", I'm 5'5". Five five. There's going to be a difference in straps. And so instead of going to the bottom here and adjusting down here, <clears throat> uh, we just quickly adjust here and we hit the road again. Um, so this feature I think is no longer going to have the padding. Um, it's going to be a similar silhouette to this, maybe even a little wider, extremely similar to the bucket backpack. But I know that a lot of people have been upset about this. So I'm just reporting what I've heard. I'm happy I own the bag. It doesn't concern me. Maybe this version of the backpack will be in higher demand, which again doesn't hurt me. Um, and then the comfort level, I used the front pocket backpack in Europe for 10 days. And I always, I think I had one day without these on, without the, the pads on the shoulder straps. And I just prefer them. They're really, they just distribute the weight a little better. They just touch your bones and your shoulder and everything just a little bit nicer. Um, so I always reach for these. And then uh, comfort, uh, we were walking around, you know, when you're in Europe, you're walking around for six, seven hours a day. And... It was never an issue of pain. I mean, you might be worn down because you're actually carrying more weight just because of your own physical health, but it was never a pain factor of like where it was hitting you on your body. And um, yeah, I, every day I, we'd, I'd start carrying it and I think maybe I'd swap with my husband after four or five hours. And that was just because it was just what I was packing in it, um, if that makes any sense. Let's see. <laughs> okay, we're moving right along, and I'm going to talk about why I switched from the front pocket backpack medium tobacco into the medium simple backpack and tobacco. Um, excuse me. I do love hunting for bags. I do like experiencing these bags on adventures and trips and being really picky, and um, I've been very blessed with the funds to buy these bags. I actually have quite a small collection. I only own this bag and the large hobo from Saddleback Leather. Surprisingly, I only own those two bags because I'm extremely picky and they're the only ones I've made the cut. Um, yeah, and uh, so when I came into these funds from birthday money and just the Lord blessing me, I went ahead and got these bags and the front pocket backpack was something I was really eyeing and I was eyeing the medium simple and I was like, what do I do? What do I do? And um, somebody alerted me that there was a Dave's deal, 25% off on the front pocket backpack. And I was like, oh, let's just do it. That saves me so much money. 25% off the retail price of $4.98. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do something about that. So the bag showed up and I was excited and I went on a couple adventures. We went to Europe with it and um, I got home and I'm like, you know what? I never had that bag completely full. I was just carrying around a bag that could be fuller with items or whatever I wanted to put in it. And it was never full. You know, I used the pockets a lot, but the body then was empty because the pockets could hold so much. And I was like, I really didn't like bumping into people when we were in these small shops and these busy streets. Um, so again, I was just like, well, it's not wrong to want to trade the bag so what if we trade it and I found somebody on this Facebook group and we swapped bags even swap we both paid for our own shipping he's happy with his bag I'm happy with mine I uh, do miss the pockets a little but I don't mind the slimmer look um, this one actually goes on more trips with me I wanted to mention ways I use this bag like I'll go to the pool with this bag or the beach or do my plain air adventures painting outdoors or when I have a trip and I'm taking an airplane I never hesitate this being my carry-on because you don't want to take too small of a carry-on. You want to bring a carry-on that's, you know, within the limits you're allowed, but can fit anything extra you want. Um, and then if I have a day that it's maybe a little bit, uh, I'm going to be out of the house much longer than a normal day and I have more heavy things, I'll bring this as opposed to my whipping post tote because that might dig into my shoulder more. But the backpack, you just, just so comfortable. Um, all right, so... I've owned, I owned the front pocket backpack for 20 weeks, so I really gave that a good amount of time, and 
there's nothing wrong. It's just what I was using in my life, what I needed to put in there, wasn't filling the bag. So I traded it. Um, it's just a fun game, too. Just buying and selling and trading and doing these reviews. Um, okay. So... I just gave the simple a shot and it ended up being one of my favorites. I just recently compared it to the bucket backpack from Saddleback Leather. Um, check out my channel, you'll see that. I just posted it yesterday, the day before. And uh, that one's even more of a simple design than this, but it's too simple. No exterior pockets. I'm not going to go all into that. But So the, <laughs> the medium simple backpack, I just feel like I'm rambling, but this one is a nice bag in between the front pocket backpack and the bucket backpack. And it does the job I want it to do. Not much more, not much less. I love the design. Um, and less is more for me in this situation. So we're just flying through all these things. And somebody did ask me to compare it to the medium satchel or the large satchel. And I've had a chance to try both of these bags for several weeks, like about a year ago. But when I would take those bags, which are more in a horizontal messenger style, and wear them through the backpack way, looping the strap through the D-ring, um, not as comfortable as a backpack from Saddleback Leather. I've said it before, but I think those bags are, it's convenient they can go in backpack, but I'm not, this was designed to be a backpack, it's doing a wonderful job. I don't need everything to cross over and do both things. Okay, so I just have to read all my extra notes, I guess. Okay, and I wanted to end with my five favorite things about this bag and five things I would change. So it's the perfect size for my needs. Um, it's extremely comfortable. Oh, should I even go inside it? Okay, let's just quickly show you what I'm carrying right now um, and how much it can hold. This is a Love 41 clutch. This is an Old Navy pouch. I know, I'm just going to go through it quick. Don't groan at home. Okay, this is a, um, what was her name? I'll link it below, but it's a cute leather pouch that I just have, like, a lot of uh, chargers and electrical cords in there for when I travel. A nice full-size umbrella. I had it laying in there diagonally. File facts. Personal size. This is just a little pouch I actually put my Bose headphones in. Uh, sunglasses. iPad mini in the dark coffee brown. Mini, um, iPad mini. What do you call this? Doesn't that happen when you're making a video you just forget what you're doing? Anyway, it's a holder for the iPad mini from Saddleback Leather. Okay, this is a three ring binder art paper this is a 9 by 12 and this is just a large envelope that I put my uh, magazines in so they don't get all ratty while I'm carrying them around and then it's empty sorry I forgot to do that until just now but I'm sorry not sorry okay going back to my five favorite things it's the perfect size for my needs that is so important for you to ask yourself why are you buying this bag what are you going to even use it for do you have any adventures that you're about to go on? And if not, maybe maybe not get a bag because don't have a bag that's not going to be used. That's the saddest thing in the whole world. So I was very picky. I feel like I'm like Goldilocks where I just kept on hunting until I found the exact bag I liked. And this one has made the cut. Um, it's extremely comfortable in backpack mode, so that's number two. Number three... Number three the look and proportions are attractive to me. I think it's a very charming looking bag. Maybe not empty, but I just, I really like the proportions. I love the color tobacco. And I, so that was number four. And the number five is, um, my husband enjoys wearing it. Excuse me. I, <laughs> sorry. My husband enjoys wearing it too. And, um, he's really picky about bags. I think I've, making more people out there to be picky. Like, if that's contagious or something. But, uh, on long trips, if I'm wearing a hot pink bag, nope, my husband will not wear that. And if I'm wearing this one, he's like, sure, I'll help you out and wear it for you for a while. 
Um, and then he takes it on business trips. He takes it, you know, wherever his next adventure is. Um, and I think that's kind of cool. It's not too masculine, not too feminine. It's just very adventure looking. Um, okay, now five things I would change. Maybe let's try a drawstring closure. I think that'd be kind of cool to have instead of this utility strap. Two, um, I wish the pockets were a little bigger. Is that tape still sticking? Maybe just a little bigger. I don't think it compromises the design too much. Um, three, maybe one or two interior pockets. Let's see if you can fit in there and see that. I'm never sure what the camera can see, but maybe just like one or two pockets just for maybe the a small wallet that you don't want extra on the exterior pockets. You could just grab the wallet from a pocket inside. Uh, maybe two D-rings, but I guess the fifth one, the most important one, is uh, bring back these straps. I really, really like these straps. I'm always adjusting this depending on who's using it. Um, I don't think I'd buy this bag if it didn't have these straps. But you know what? I don't want that to dismay people from trying the medium simple. At least try it from their website. Um, great customer service. I've had to work with them a couple times on things and I don't want to, I don't want to say too many bad things. I just, for my own personal use, I like the cushions. Or maybe sell the cushions, uh, extra. There's an idea. Okay. Um, and then I guess the, the last parting thought is, I wrote, I have peace of mind knowing this bag could sell fast if I needed the money. And, okay, judge me as you will. But having something that is in high demand, and um, sometimes that's nice because it's a lot of money going to one thing, but what if it was a lot of money going to one thing that nobody in the world would ever buy from you? You kind of just feel like you're stuck with it. And I'm going to cherish this and keep it, and I really do hope I hold on to this bag, so... Uh, I just, I'm so picky, and um, unless something on the market comes out better than this, it's a competition out there, um, I'm going to be hanging on to it. But I also feel good about buying it from Saddleback Leather because they have a 100 year warranty on their bags, and just knowing that they care for you, the company does, they use amazing products, you just, you can just feel carefree about spending that much money on an investment like a leather bag. Um, all right, gang, I think I'm done. We did it all. I'm sure this was way too long. Have a great weekend. I'll see you. Bye.